I had grown up in public housing and had been here literally my entire life. And I've watched and witnessed a lot of what they were fighting against. My name is Cynthia Wiggins. I'm located here in New Orleans. I am the president for the uh, Gus Home Resident Management Corporation, as well as the National Association for uh, Resident Management Corporations. Um, I have been a community leader now for better than 30 years um, and have been um, engaged and involved in community work since I was probably in my early 20s. I got interested in wanting to manage and, and be more involved in taking control of the property. Um, and I and I say to you, that was the best thing that ever happened to this community. That we were able to take control of what was happening here on the management side, because we don't just do the management of it, we do the maintenance as well. Um, what is it that I can do from a personal perspective to stop the violence in our and we always say that it's more or less about creating opportunities. I believe the opportunities are there, but I think there is something else in the background that's prohibiting people from moving forward to reach for those opportunities. And it has more to do with their living environment. It has to do with the lack of support that they really need. So if somebody walked in here and told me they had $10 million um, I would want to say, give me a community center so that we can do something uh, to teach our children how to respect their money versus spending their money. And to have a training program focused around what New Orleans is known for, that is cooking. Because a lot of them, a lot of our residents here, from what I can see, buy a lot of processed food. Teach them about gardening and the benefits of fresh food. Um, but I recognize that if we can get them that kind of training, it can lead to job opportunities. It can become a shelf. I think um, housing is a, it should be a right. And I think that there has always been, in my personal opinion, uh, this outside force that separates low-income families from middle-class America, not so much on the rich community because they come individuals who have done well and make their living at the expense of the poor like you say they have always pitted these two groups against one another and i stay in this because you know i can leave too now i have no desire to go um and i've always wanted to finish this work that i started and that was to build this community and to be able to stand before those who believe that we couldn't do it, to say to them, yes, we can. Give us the opportunity and we can do 